Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the next episode. It's good to talk to you. Well, today I'm gonna answer a question. Question is, how children are taught at school and how should they be taught? Well, I think it is one of the biggest problems we have in our country and we must tackle this obstacle as fast as we can because it is, because education is the foundation of success. So we gotta pay more attention to our education system. Take Uzbekistan, for example, like we have the lowest education and studying at school is just a waste of time. Although it's free, it's not worth going to school. However, it's mandatory to go to school until you are in 11th grade. Well, let's talk about the subjects. In my opinion, they are useless. Why should I put time in subjects I will never use in the real life? And I assume that schools should teach you depending on your interests. If the person wants to be wants to be a doctor, he should learn biology and chemistry. Geometry, math and physics are not needed. And if the person wants to be an engineer, then it's better for him to learn physics and math. He doesn't need any other subjects. But unfortunately, students studying at school are meant to study almost 16 subjects. Like, it's just out of logic. And these classes will do your mind. We, we must simplify our education system because we can't, we can't physically manage study, we can't em- physically manage to study 16 subjects at the same time. And it is a serious problem that hasn't been considered as a serious problem. And it is surprising how little it's talked about. It might affect our future badly. Like people who don't go to school, people who didn't go to school are 10 times as rich as people who really, who really did go to school. You know why? Answer is simple. Because they weren't taught at school. Life taught them what to do. And, and they've experienced a lot. And they often take risks. And this way they learn things needed in their life or needed in their job. And they have a better lifestyle than ours. Because I've seen what they have accomplished in such a little time. And you know, I'm not fulfilled with our education system. And I'm, I'm really worried about that. Because I have a niece and, and, and she's 4 years old. And she's very clever for 4 year old. And, and she, is, like, she is capable of reading books. And you know, she's lovely. And I want her to go, abro- to go abroad and study there. I don't want her to stay here and be the victim of our education system like me. Mm, I'm sure when when she comes to be my age, she'll be the most successful person in, among, among her family members. And you know, if you study abroad, you are likely to get what you want in life. And you know, uh, foreign countries are known for their education. But one of the drawbacks uh, of living abroad is you will have homesickness and you will have homesickness and and you can't possibly get rid of it. And I'm thinking of applying for master's degree in foreign countries and and I'm going to study and work hard at the same time. And afterwards, uh, I will come back uh, to Uzbekistan and I'll make people change the way they think and look at the things. And I'll definitely change our education system that people will be fulfilled with it. So it was my uh, answer to this question. So like uh, leave a comment about uh, like leave, uh, leave your opinions below. So I will read it. See you. Take care. Bye bye.